Now, welcome back, Final Fantasy V. So, last time I got the airship and learned about that the Rui, that the Earth Crystal is not underground but high up in the air. So it is time to go and pick a fight against the floating fortress with explosions and all that. And these yellow, yellow red things are basically boss fights. Meaning you have to take them out. And because they are machines, they actually are quite good at suffering, taking the hits from lightning attacks. But unfortunately, they seem to be, they seem to throw a... They seem to be th countering with a... Uh, they are quite sturdy as well, so... Ah, damn it! I did the wrong spell. I did the Blitzara instead of the uh, Blitz Thunder spell. That's it. Yep, I think this fight told shows that they can be quite tough, so recommended tactic is to just defeat one. <sighs> defeat one, go out from wherever you were, I will say defeat one, withdraw, recover, and then just you go back out. You save your progress. And of course, once you've done all that, then you, ju you just attack again, because the ru they remain destroyed. You don't have to do them with one by one, which is good. And this what this flamethrower turret is much less frightening than the regular attack. Come on, attack Lena. Because the flamethrower attack is a blue magic attack. Come on, come on, do it. Come on, that's the wrong target, you stupid robot. Come on, at at attack the proper target so I can ro so I can And I can I even take it to control, of course not. Come on, attack the proper target, good, finally you did it. It goes down, and then there's the other other flamethrowers around here. No need to be. That goes down, so it's just one more of those more dangerous missile turrets left. Yep, 
Yep, blue magics are very potent abilities to have. I'd say they might be one of the most, almost be of the best kind of attack abilities you can get. You have in this game. And there's one, just one more turret left. That extreme level of aggression takes that thing out as well. I took them the defenses out, but there's a boss appearing. And of course, I can still make use of the same tactic I used before, which is to say, withdraw, come back, and recover, and get going again. I would have guessed that at least they might have made it a bit more difficult by making that boss fight happen right after the last turret, but whatever, not that big deal. So, picking a fight against... And of course, because it's a machine... It's quite recommended to just... Yeah, that means that it's gonna put... It, end, it ends to make a big blast attack towards you. And the missile attack is quite annoying, but uh, quite dangerous because it reduces your hit points by half, which is... Was to say quite unpleasantly big a high amount. Big attack. Ouch. Which caused a hurt. Quite big hurt. So once again it start, it's gonna start loading up the big cannon of big gun.
let's bash it with a Ira. Alright, another god, another scratch. Come on, does it wipe me out again? Looks like so. God damn it. Well, gotta get myself a bit more, more powerful group to at tackle that thing again. I'm doing a battle again with a bit different crew. Having a bit different kind of crew. I uh, still having the black mage in the black mage, but it boosts add some boosty abilities. So it's basically just repeating your attacks over and over again. And the amount of damage I'm doing is much bigger because it went down. Mystic Knight, Summoner, Black Mage and a Monk. And Summoner with a boosted ability to get the, the uh, white magics as well just to make sure that the he heals over there. Well, looks like I just made but busted my way way inside. And now I'm at the, my airship. Yep, this place looks quite familiar in sense that what we have already been. There are enemy, of course, new enemies around here as well. They are quite pests. Fire. So, uh, it's interesting to notice that the place where the airship was kept had similar aesthetic than these places have, which might of course give some sort of credibility to claim that the location is very much the same as in Every, every other, or whether I say the airship and ro these ruins are connected. And I do really, really like that, that kind of, you could say, idea of seeing, the, of doing things, or look, is looking at things. The enemies in here are nothing you could say really so far particularly intimidating ones. They just appear to be kind of regular pests anyway, so nothing you could say, nothing truly remarkable. And if I would not be having the find passages ability, this place would be a quite much more difficult to navigate. Because then you would be, you would have a much diffi more difficult time seeing all the floors and walls and all the hidden passages that this place has a plenty of them. Not to mention all these kind of com complex layouts of, layouts of rooms, which do make it kind of difficult to find your way forward in this place. Mostly because of all these pathways moving around, spinning around, twisting around and turning around. Which make them quite unpleasantly convoluted location to navigate because of the maze-like structure. I think it, this is, might be one of the more 
or perhaps even the most maze-like uh, dungeon level there is in this game. May, may most likely not to the whole Final Fantasy series, but at least for this game, it's at least so far very, very much most maze-like place. So, but still, gotta do some powering up myself. Oh, as I'm wandering through these ruins and not facing random encounters because I turned them off, I do say that this place is quite convoluted and confusing. I think they quite much designed it to be such the way, such a location. Uh, uh, especially when the when it's a matter of all these locations turning around, uh, that you have to switch between different layers of the floors. That you have to go level up, turn around to level three, two, then you go back to level up again, so you can go back to other place of level two, which will lead to level three, and go so on and so on and so on. It 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 it, it, it make it makes it's kind of confusing and makes figuring out the exact routes and locations kind of difficult which is not something i actually appreciate in game design of course game games can be designed to be ma in many manners there there's no one right way of designing it because if there were it would have been already found a long time ago even before medium of video games came into existence it would have been already found but the enemies in this place kind of regular nothing really unusual or unremarkable unremarkable about them let's just make it let's put the ranger on with control and keep Lena as blue mage because of the very convenient ability to oh need for another another find passages when I can just two hand two hand everything quite I would say that they in this game kind of games Ability to do physical damage is usually more better, import, useful than ability to do magic damage. But that's just how I see the how the design goes. Because mag magic damage is usually something that there are way more things which are immune or resistant to it instead instead of physical damage, which is something that you can always trust on physical damage we eventually be able to get through and and as I now took the enemy under control I can now just throw it at my blue mage, resurrect him or her in this case and as I've done that, I can also throw it back at her and kaboom, I learned Thousand Needles. The signature attack of It's a signature attack of Cutquas. And I also noticed that I made a bit of a mistake by Made a bit, bit, bit of a mistake by not not having a white mage in my crew, in anybody, or better say, anybody capable of doing white magics in my crew, which is kind of a hassle. But I have to get back to that room, which will be quite a hassle bother. Now at this, these deeper parts, there is actually path forward again and I think I'm gonna keep the encounters on 
as I'm just wa waltzing through these locations because well there's no reason not to keep them on because well I do need it and that looks like suspiciously like a king Ty king of tycoon or was it king tycoon hard to say which it is but these ancient ruins ancient civilizations which usually which were technology superior to what is now tend to be or at least maybe not technology but magically superior and of quite often also spiritually superior as well are quite underlying theme or I don't know, no, maybe is it a theme or just a mo I, I might say is it a motive or theme theme or what is the actual term about this very common thing about you know narrative technique one of the games use or style Error ain't that particularly scary attack. Actually, quite many of these enemy, enemy skills are either extremely weak, or then they are cap really capable of ripping you apart in a blink of an eye. There really isn't no midway point between the in those techniques. basic enemy toads nothing really remarkable about those things either they get chopped down before they even get a chance to do anything and give you quite nice chunk of work po ability points as well I think that was the technical actual technical name for them Kidra. This one's dangerous, obviously. I'll just blast the poisoner out. I make use of thousand needles. That's a big chunk of damage to you. Oh damn, that was a big hit and it died. And it also gave me the enemy skill, his enemy skill, which is nice because... Enemy skills are always nice to have. And of course, if you would want to do the 100% playthrough, you would need to, get, need to get all of them. Which would also give you a nice little go ideal trophy <laughs> and of course getting the platinum trophy of this game would mean that, that lo you would have to get all the jobs mastered it, it is a long list of stuff you need to do to get this game into 100% Oh yeah. Usually in Final Fantasy games you go upwards. Oh, I actually, did I confuse the confuse it? Oh yeah, I did confuse it. Usually in Final Fantasy games you do not go downwards. Occasionally you do. In Final Fantasy VII, in the end, final finale, you do go down. But now I'm at the center of the Ronka ruins. Preparing to face. Say hello to King Tycoon. Hello, uh, King. But he doesn't appear to be... Oh yeah, so it changes weakness. 
Archeo Avis. So let's just look at this Libra to che check what it is. And I also dropped its level to half. Oh, it the vulnerable with the wind floating. Vulnerable to wind means bring out the era. And of course the fact that I also managed to have its level. And damn, I wish I would have now the level 5 death, because that would just destroy that thing right away. Oh, it re Oh, it can- it actually repairs its- It actually keeps changing all these weaknesses. And it keeps also rising. But it, went, but it eventually went down without even need to try to find out its weakness that just battered it to submission. Not a particularly dangerous boss, mostly because, oh, except it is, it came back. Oh. Yeah, keep things alive. <sighs> White Wind is very good. What? Well, uh blue magic because enemy skill or blue magic because it basically heals everybody as much as the blue caster has hit points which means that it may get give you the really handy way of getting quite lots of hit damage out I drop level 20 it, it just keeps switching around these little things well, once again it goes down does it now stay down Yeah, now it went down and stays down. Uh, that's an evil laugh he made. He made. Oops! Looks like once again we have this common trope of enemy of bad guy using mind control abilities. And a meteor.
And somebody else showed up. That person. Galoof's granddaughter. Yep, lost the thought. Uh, I guess there was a need for some specific stimulus to make restore his mind completely, that is to say. But things seem to be bad. Oh, fourth one also destroyed all of them are history. And that suspicious little mountain area with nice little Moog 7 spins around in the original one added with this new flash here spinny death black swirly thing evil animations and here he comes the main villain yeah he know he's got history he is active It, uh, it was only after Final Fantasy 4 that villains started to be actually truly to make these kind of active appearances and of course ho 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 he's, he's being evil. So he just popped in to his evil clothing and popped out. That's quite typical villain behavior. And now I know of what, what is the Ferris's real name. Salisa. And more classes unlocked. Samurai, Dragoon, Dancer, and Chemist. 
And I would say that most of them are not quite, actually quite clunky. And of course the floating ruins when nothing is keeping them afloat means that gravity is gonna do its thing. And with nice extra technical style explosions added. Yep. Ah, apparently, apparently Princess Sarisa is the one I think using her proper name or original name might be the one who actually pilots the uh, airship. Which actually, if I move, and oh, uh, yeah, it goes down. Whatever was desert critters were below. Sorry, but you had a bad day. Yeah, he's dead. But I would wonder, what did originally make him released? Oh yeah, well, well uh, usually I would say that throwing something out of your world to somebody else's world, it might be quite solid way of solving a problem. Well, for Bart it would not be that much of an issue because he's a wanderer. But for princesses, 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 it might be a bit of an issue. So, but no, it would be a matter of what to do now. And I would guess that the logical location to go would be I would say in Tycoon itself, because well, time to bring the princesses home, but that happens next time. See ya.